All right, guys, before watching this video, I just want to let you guys know, you know, that I'm being as real as possible. Some of you guys might like this story. Some of you guys might not like this story, you know, but I don't give a f I'm just trying to be real with my life, you know, and how I experience things, you know, of course. You might not agree with me on some things that I'm going to say or some ways that I have acted and I'm saying how I acted, right? But I feel like you got to be honest to yourself, right? Of course. Apart from that, enjoy this video, guys. Let's go, baby. Hey, yo, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back, of course, to another video. Um, as you guys can see, I'm in North Carolina right now. But in the timeline of the Europe shift, you know, I'm already done with Malaga. So from Malaga, I went to Madrid. So right now, imagine I'm in Madrid, all right? I wish I could have blogged it, you know, but at that point in time, when I was over there, I didn't want to film anymore, you know? F for me, one of the bad things that I usually do is that when I dedicate myself to filming, I film, all right? And I film a lot, okay? So basically, that's what happened to me. Just think about while I was filming this interview, I haven't even uploaded what I was filming on when I first got to Portugal, you know? So those are like obviously very different points in time. However, in order for me to fix that, you know, um, that's why I try to do it with like the Europe shift, you know, and like basically making people think, you know, that I'm there, you know, when I'm not there, you know? So yeah. Now you might be asking yourself, oh bro, you live in Miami, what are you doing in North Carolina, right? Well, I'm doing my USA tour right now, you know, I haven't stopped, you know, I already went to, um, to, sorry guys, it is cold here. I already went to Gainesville, I already went to Atlanta, I already went to Charleston, I already went to Myrtle Beach, I already, I've been doing my USA tour while I was uploading these videos in Europe, right? But um, without further ado, you know, enough is enough, you know, I don't want to be telling you guys, oh my god, this, what I'm doing, etc, right? Of course, whatever, you know. So, um, let's begin with this video, right? Of course, my, my hostel experience in Madrid and Barcelona, right? Which I'm sure you guys want to hear these stories, you know, because this is like the peak, the peak of my trip in Europe was this, you know, this is where I had the most amount of fun, the best time. Um, obviously, I mean, obviously with my family it was a great time too. In Portugal, it was also a great time too, but they were different, you know, they were different. This was the best time for me, you know, because I was alone and, um, damn, I was traveling, I was staying in a hostel, etc. you know, so this is my hostel experience in, um, in Madrid, right, of course. So I got to Madrid, right, of course, and I got to the hostel, right, to the hostel, uh, the name of the hostel was OK Hostel, right, that's the name of it, pretty basic, you know, I mainly based, uh, based my, uh, the place where I'm gonna be staying at, the hostels mainly, if they're very tranquil, you know, they're, I mean, I, I want them to be party as, as well, you know, but I mean, I haven't been to many hostels, you know, the only hostels that I've been to so far was Puerto Rico, you know, this one. And um, it was fun. It was fun. It wasn't a party hostel, but it had the party vibes, you know, which it was pretty fun. So in this one, I, I, I knew I was in Europe. You know, I didn't know that the that the culture in Europe of hostels, you know, was so big, you know, and so fun and so crazy, you know. So I was like, fuck it, you know, I, I want to get a hostel that is going to be tr uh, tranquil. I want to get to know Madrid, you know, good, etc. Right. So basically, that's 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 what happened, right? Of course. So I went to Madrid. I stayed in OK Hostel, right? Uh, I left my uncle. You know, my uncle lives in Fuengirola in Malaga. I, I he he was like, hey, good to see you. We'll see each other soon, of course. And um, and yeah, I went to Madrid. I went to Madrid. I got to my hostel. I got there at night. I got there at night. And one and let me tell you one bad thing about my whole story, right? One of the bad things about me, my story was that I didn't have internet or well, at least I didn't need internet for me to use it on the street basically in the majority of my trip. Why? Because when I was in Portugal, I was with my friend's family. They had a, a little device that gave internet to everybody at whatever place and since I was always with them, I didn't need to get a SIM card or anything, etc. You know, so um, it was good. 
when I was in Spain with my uncle I didn't need to get a SIM card either you know because I was with my uncle and I was with my family and I didn't need it right but this time now that I'm in Madrid and I'm alone fuck I, I I need internet you know and that's when I was like that was my first issue you know so I got to Madrid through train I went from Malaga to to Madrid on a train and I got there and I was like damn I don't have internet what the fuck how am I how am I gonna like get to my hostel right I had to literally walk over to like a like a McDonald's to get Wi-Fi to do it right boom so that was the first issue I was able to get to my hostel my hostel stay was beautiful and um, at least I got there right of course uh, I didn't do much uh, that night or no I actually oh my god fuck I did <laughs> anyways god I'm sorry this video is gonna be long but it's like so many stories that um that yeah fuck it it has to be like that you know because it has to be like that right I got there I didn't have internet right of course and I knew the next day what I need to do is get my phone fixed etc right but the thing is that I didn't know was that my phone was actually locked right so I cannot put any sim card from anywhere unless it's one from the United States from my carrier which is cricket which is a piece of sh so basically I didn't have internet my whole fucking time in Madrid right so that was a hassle you know because it's like I don't even know how to move here you know and I'm alone and I cannot be walking too far you know because then I get lost etc you know so I had to be playing with like my little Google Maps app you know and knowing my streets etc you know so I, that I don't get lost right anyways the thing is that boom I, I got to my hostel very late right it was already like 10 p.m. you know and um, I was like fuck it I'm already here you know um, I want to go out, you know, fuck it, you know, I want to enjoy, I want to enjoy my, my, my place in, my trip in, in Spain, right? And I went out, I asked one of the receptionists in, in my hostel, you know, what's a good place to go out? But I wanted to go out, not, not where like the Giddies go out, right? Usually the Giddies, like you guys saw in the video, was people who are from, like, who are tourists. I, I didn't want them to see me as a tourist, I wanted to go out to like the local places, right? And, um... That was like a, it was like a Friday night, yeah, it was a Friday night, so that also helped, you know, I was like, damn, that also motivated me a lot to, to want to go out, right? So, in the end, you know, uh, she told me that, yeah, it's this place right here, but it was like, kind of like a walk, and I didn't have my internet, you know, so it was a little bit hard for me to, to even be thinking about just doing that plan. Uh, one of the things that the hostel offered was this little thing called bar crawls, right? which basically people from the hostel uh they all get together you know uh they start drinking for like an hour two hours you know and then they pre right of course and then they go to three bars and in those three bars they give you a, a shot in each of the bars and then you got you go to a nightclub right and all of that for 25 euros which is like nothing like it's like wow amazing you know uh, the thing is that at that time it was already 10 p.m. Uh, the people from the board crawl at my hostel they already left, right? And I was like, I don't need people from the from the board crawl, you know. I can party by myself. I've party by myself many times, you know, and I have a, be a beautiful time, right? So um, I party by myself uh, the first night, right? I went out. Um, I didn't go to like the local bars in Madrid. I went to the bars of like the tourists, you know, because that was the closest place to the to the to the hostel, right? And I went out, boom, 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 went out, etc. Ta, 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 and I met this Australian girl. With the Australian girl, I, I met her, etc. Right? She was like with um, two other friends, right? And. Um, uh, the first thing like, I approached, you know, because I, I thought she was pretty, right? I approached, and then the first thing she told she tells me is that oh, she has a boyfriend, and that nothing, right? Typical, you know, typical, of course. But how are you gonna be with a boyfriend, and then the boyfriend's not there, and then you're w with a group of friends, you know, and like you guys are just like having fun, etc. You know, it's like I want to be part of the fun too. You feel me? <laughs> Anyways, the thing is that boom, I went to this bar, you know. I was already like working. I, I there was like there's like this little strip in Madrid where I go from one place to another to another to another. I was like bar hopping, you know, alone by myself, you know. And um, yeah, so in the end, boom, I approached her. She told me she had a boyfriend. She basically rejected me. And then boom, I noticed that damn, there's literally no other places apart from here, you know. And I'm I'm not gonna wanna walk 
somewhere I don't know, you know, I mean, Madrid is, Madrid is a big city, you know. Uh, so I went back to, to the Australian girl and I told her, hey, look, listen, I, I honestly tried to look for someone better, but um, I just couldn't find anyone better. I, I, I mean, you're the fucking prettiest girl here. Basically, I told her. And, well, the rest is history, you know, boom, uh, boom, we started dancing, etc. One thing led to another, two, 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 two. it was her and two other friends, it was three. One of the friends left with another guy, so it was two of her friends, I get, uh, and me, of course, right? And then, um, oof, I remember, oof, I remember, what a, what a fucking story. The thing is that, boom, they invited me back to their hotel, right? Boom, I go to their hotel, and then, um... Uh, her friend, which I, she knew I liked the Australian girl. Her friend, she literally like left. So it was just me, me and the, and the Australian girl. One thing led to another, ta -dun -dun, et cetera. We we're going at it, you know. You know what I mean? Of course. Uh, we went to a restroom. We we're going at it and the, re uh, the, the restroom. And then um, I bring her up. <laughs> I, I bring her up in the restroom. You know, where, like you, where the sink is, where you wash your hands, etc. Right? Boom! Like we're going at it there, you know, and then. From I don't know what plume the thing breaks, you know, and like she literally fell down to the floor and she was like she just cracked up, she just laughed. We kept on going, etc. Right? And then we're done. Her friend comes in, she goes to the restroom, and she sees the restroom's like destroyed. And she goes like, yo, what the f she was pissed. And she told me, bro, you gotta f leave, you gotta get the f out of here. And um Boom, in all of that rush, you know, of like, oh shit, like, yeah, because like, it's, it's fucked up, you know? In all of that shit, um, I left, you know, because um, I didn't want to be held responsible for that, you know, etc. right? So, I left, this was like already like 5, 6 a.m. type shit, on my first night in Madrid, think about that, right? Uh, I left, and that little chain that I have, you know, with the microphone, I left it there, in, in, in her hotel room, you right? I didn't see her again because then the next day they were leaving. So I didn't see her again. And I lost my chain. It was already it was 6 a.m. in Madrid. And going from her hotel to my hostel was a mission because we took an Uber from the little bar that we were in to her hotel. And I don't know uh, a Madrid like that, right? So I just walked, I literally had to pull out my maps and like try to find like what was the specific cross, you know, where my hostel was, etc. The thing is that I was able to find it. I was able to find it and I was able to walk back home to my to my hostel, you know, and um, I got to my hostel at like 7 a.m. type shit, you know, and um, that was my first night in Madrid. So my second highlight of Madrid is when I decided to actually join the bar crawl in the hostel, you know. I was like, fuck it, enough is enough, you know, let's see what this, host, this bar crawl is about. My first time ever, and I loved it, you know, it was 25 bucks. Uh, we went in a group of like everybody who was from the hostel, I met this Brazilian girl, you know. Um, she was cute, etc. Boom, we started talking, etc. right? Nothing happened with her, right? Because in the bar crawl, everybody's a big group, right? And I was like, boom, talking to someone and then talking to someone else and talking to someone else and talking to someone else. I was like talking to a lot of, to everybody, you know, in, in, the, in the hostel, right? So the thing is that the Brazilian girl, I don't know if, I mean, she definitely noticed that, right? And she was like, yo, what the fuck, this guy's a player, whatever, right? I'm not a player, baby. I'm just trying to have fun, baby. You feel me? I'm trying to have fun. I'm not from here. I want to have fun. The same way you want to have fun. There was this other guy who was also with, um, who was also trying to get with her, right? The thing is that that guy stayed, you know, he did his the diligence, right? And in the end, you know, they got together, etc., right? That broke my heart, right? Pero, pero fuck it. There was also that same night, I, there was this also this Serbian girl. Uh, who she was cute as fuck. I remember she was from another hostel. So um, our bar crawl combined with other bar crawls from other hostels. So it was like this big ass fucking group towards the end of the night when we were, when we would all be in the club, right? So I met with this this it was the Serbian girl, right? Um, the Serbian girl story wasn't as crazy as the Australian girl story, right? But I um, mean it was nice, you know. Boom! In the end, I remember she was like very cold etc right you know they're you know they're, that's how they are right i noticed them why the fuck are you so cold etc i remember i talked to her i was like yeah hey, i thought you were pretty dun, dun, dun. 
she even rejected me etc like i thought i was never gonna see her again but then it's like so we went to three bars and then one nightclub right in the second bar that's when i met her right and i i, I that's when i saw her uh the the serving girl right and then she rejected me towards the end you know though she gave me a look i gave her a look etc right so in the nightclub when I noticed that the Brazilian girl already left with the other guy, right? That's when um, I see the Serbian girl again, right? And I see that, that the guy from my hostel, right? He was trying to get with her, right? And I was like, oh, fuck, whatever. If they get together, they get together, whatever. I, I don't care. I was already, like, fucking hurt because of the Brazilian girl, right? But then I see that she's dry with everybody. That's why I noticed she was cold, right? So not even the guy from, the, from my hostel, that he's from there, you know, he couldn't do much, right? So, boom, I go, up, go and talk to her, you know, etc. Just to be friends, you know, because at the end of the day, I knew she was cold, etc. right? And um, we begin talking a little bit, etc. Um, and then she goes, like, in, in, in Europe, they smoke a lot of cigarettes. Um, she invited me one if I wanted to smoke. And I was like, all right, fuck it, yeah, let, let's, go outside, let's go outside the club, you know, and let's smoke a little bit, you know. I was already kind of flirting with her, etc. right? But not too much, because... I don't want to be that guy, you know, pressuring anybody into anything, right? Of course. So, um, I, well, no, the thing is that we get out, we, we get out, we smoke a cigarette, and then when I, she sees me with the light, because in the nightclub everything is dark, right? When she sees me outside with, with the light, and I see her, she's literally like smiling at me like crazy. I'm smiling at her like crazy, like super flirty. It was like a fucking romantic story, you know? Damn, fuck. Anyways, the thing is that, boom, we started making out, etc., right? Outside. And then in the end, I told her, yo, let, let's go somewhere, etc., right? But then she, she didn't want to. Now, it was also the first night we met each other, too, right? And that's the story with the Serbian, with the Serbian girl. My next night, I was like, all right, fuck it. That's it, enough with Madrid. Uh, not that I said enough with Madrid, but... I mean, it was already time for me to go to Barcelona, right? And um, I remember um, that day, I was able to finally fix my internet on my phone because I bought one of those little Wi-Fi things that gives you Wi-Fi, right? And I finally had internet by myself, at least in, in Spain, where when I was staying over there, right? And that was that literally changed the game, you know, because that made me be able to travel around Madrid, the little time that I could actually travel with on Madrid because I was already going to Barcelona, so I I went to Barcelona. I go to Barcelona to this other hostel called the Black Swan Hostel. This hostel is even crazier than than, than the first one, even more fun, you know. Uh, so yeah, the the name was Black Swan Hostel. As soon as I got in there. You know, boom, I, I, I noticed that, poof, in Barcelona, there's a lot of crazy people. The first thing that, that, that I get to see from, from Madrid to Barcelona is that in Barcelona, the people are crazy. In the station in, in Barcelona, people are, like, crazy in the sense of, like, I remember this guy was, like, fucking, like, I remember, like, some, like, white girls, I don't know from where exactly, maybe European girls, you know, but, like, they were giddies, right? They were standing, like, let's say, over there. And I'm like the crazy guy, let's say. And the crazy guy would be like, like that, like kissing them and shit like that. Like super like, grossero, like fuck that. Anyways, the thing is that I even told him, I was, I was like, bro, if you truly, if you really want to get with girls, you shouldn't be doing that, bro. Because that shit's not going to get you anywhere. The girls noticed and they literally like ran away, etc. Fuck it, I don't even want to fucking talk about that shit. Anyways, the thing is that, boom, I got to my hostel. Uh, I got to my hostel. Uh... I met up with the receptionist, the receptionist guy, dope as fuck as well. Uh, he told me, yo, w w wait a little bit, wait downstairs in the lobby a little bit while we're checking these other people and like, we'll call you. And I was like, all right, fuck it. Boom, so I went down, I went to like where some people were, you know, in the living room. And that's when I met this gorgeous German girl, this other pretty girl from Savannah, and also this pretty girl from Canada. Anyways, the thing is that, um. Boom, I, 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 those three girls were sitting watching TV or some shit, or they were talking, I don't know. And um, I just, boom, I sat there a little bit, you know, I was like, you know, on my phone, etc. And then I noticed, bro, they're not calling me. I'm gonna just start talking to, to these girls, right, of course. So I started talking to them, etc. They were all super nice, friendly, you know, I wasn't even trying to be flirty or anything. Um, pero, 
yeah it was it was nice everybody was super nice etc right boom they were, i was able to finally get checked in on, on my on my place in 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 barcelona unlike madrid madrid is very like like lima which is like the streets are like all over the place like ta 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 ta, ta like that it's kind of confusing right but in barcelona everything is more like the united states i would say uh, or like everything's more organized like tuk 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 like that uh, da. i don't know anyways fuck. anyways the thing is that boom i, I go out of my first night right my first night in barcelona i wasn't even trying to go out my first night i was already tired for what the fuck happened in madrid in in all the places where, where i was going out right and i was like damn i don't even want to go out but then i was like the subtle vibes that they, it was like fun etc and like i was like fuck it all right let's go out <laughs> anyways the thing is that uh, um i went out um in in Barcelona, my first night, um, this in 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 this place, it wasn't like the ones in in Madrid. Basically, we we'll go from the hostel, walk to towards the um, the bars, and that's it. Beautiful, everything walking, right? And this one in Barcelona, we would actually get on the chop and the trains and like go around the city to actually go to the place. But it was like a massive group as well. We would also be combining with other hostels, you know. This wasn't called bar crawls. This was called pop crawls, right? Uh, I didn't meet anybody from from Spain. Everybody that I met was from Europe, but not from Spain because I was staying in a hostel with like other tourists as well, right? The thing is that um, yeah, it, it was it, it was amazing. I went out. Uh, I went out the, my, my first night, you know. Um, I met this other girl who the girl from Savannah. She had a friend. She was also from Savannah, so we connected a little bit. You know, we started talking, etc. You know. The gorgeous German girl was also with us, you know, and um, obviously all, everybody, everybody was so fucking nice. The people from the receptionist, well, they were nice as fuck, you know. I cannot even say names because everybody was nice. What the f You feel me? <laughs> Anyways, the thing is that, uh, yeah, boom, we went to bar one, bar two, bar three. Oh, the prices, not cheap, not cheap. I mean, compared to to Malaga, for sure, not cheap compared, right? Me and Savannah, girl, like we we started kissing, right? From from um, we started kissing because we connected, right, etc. You know, um, oh, fuck. But I, I really, really, really. So the German girl, that's the girl I, li I like the most, right? But the German girl, like, she was also she. This girl's from fucking from over there. They're very cold, right? So I, I get like mixed signals, you know. I don't know if they like me or they don't like me, etc. Right? So I go like, oh damn, the German German girl doesn't even like me, probably, you know. So the Savannah girl was also cute, right? And I was like, all right, I'm gonna be with the Savannah girl. I started uh, I started being with the Savannah girl, etc. Right? But then from nowhere I see that the German girl was also with us. And then from around I go like, yo, what the fuck, yo, could I could I add a third person to the equation? You know. <laughs> anyways, anyways, the thing is that um, the thing is that um, um, fuck, the thing is that no, um, <laughs> the thing is that. Um, we're, we're still there, right? Boom, we're dancing and said that, ta 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 ta, boom, boom, boom. Well, one of that's with me, then the other one, ta 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 ta. I, I had a cigarette, right? Um, because I bought it because in Madrid they all smoked, etc. So I, bought, I had a packet already, right? So I had some cigarettes, you know, you know, and, and I tell the German girl, yo, German, uh, yo, G G German girl, I'm not gonna say names because that's fucking no. But hey, you 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 want to smoke a cigarette outside, etc. Right? Boom. She was like, yeah, yeah. Boom. We go smoke a, a, a cigarette outside, and then I tell her, yo, honestly, like, yo, I I, re I really 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 like you, huh? And that's when, uh, um, I don't know. We just connected, you know, and then I I I spent it with her my whole time um, in in Barcelona. Right, which was like not even long, like two, three days probably. We spent it together, you know. The next day we went out. It was also boom. We started dancing, etc. So it was, it was very fun. It was very fun, you know. Um, I had a, an amazing time, you know. Uh, Savannah girl, uh, she she was infected with like this little uh, like with this thing. I think with strep throat, right? And since I kissed her, she passed it on to me. And then since I kissed German girl, I passed it on to her. And oh yeah, so you might be thinking, what the fuck happened? So so what the fuck happened? So the same night I I I kissed um, Savannah girl, and then I kissed German girl, right? But then um, damn, I, that was like such a playerish move from my part, you know? I've never done that before. 
kissing like two girls at the same night that was that's like fucking insane you know especially like let's say i'm trying to get with one and then i'm trying to get with another girl at the same night that's kind of like like super playerish right uh maybe my younger self would have felt very proud for doing that but myself now right now i don't feel proud at all of, of doing that actually you know it's very like dickish you know so um that's how you know like when you're starting to mature etc right but uh it's not cool and it's not cool you know anyways the thing is that um going back to the story right um so um savannah uh, savannah girl infected me and infected germany girl you know and my plan already at that time was that i was gonna go to london and then i was gonna go to france uh and then i i told german girl you know um yo let's meet up in 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 paris you know and she was like yeah yeah i mean the idea was there but then i got super fucking sick she also got sick but uh, yeah anyways the thing is uh, that, was, that was fucked this video is very long you know because i know only the real ones that watch this uh, that watch until now know what the fuck i'm talking about and no you know not everybody watches this type of videos you know but this is like my stories you know and i'm trying to be trying to be of, of course you know as real as possible you know when it comes to this you know it was such a fun trip that's why i'm saying it was like peak you know peak story for me you know um, be, having the experience that i had that i had over there in, in in europe you know because damn here in the united states it's not like that you know it's not like that and right now right now in north carolina that i've already traveled to myrtle beach to atlanta to gainesville to North Carolina, it has been nothing close to like what I experienced over there in, in Europe, you know. Most likely when I'm done with my USA tour, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is going to be my Europe tour, you know. And um, well, obviously, apart from that, um, nothing. I, I, I can't say much, you know. What I, what I can say though is that um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Of course, if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, you know, and click that bell, you know. Because if you do not click that bell, might as well, you're just not even subscribed. Apart from that, um, that's it, you know. Um, thank you so much, you know, for watching this, you know. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let's go, baby.